What's going on guys, Kevin here, and today I got a video for you of benchmarking the 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro uh, in comparison with the 2010 13-inch MacBook Pro. Now, we're going to be comparing all of the real-world situations as well as all the benchmark numbers, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So just for some basic specs, the 15-inch MacBook Pro has a 2.2 GHz Intel Core i7 quad-core processor, a 5400 RPM 750GB uh, hard drive, and 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1333 MHz. Now switching over to the 13-inch 2010 model, we have a 2.4 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, a 128GB solid-state drive, as well as 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1067 MHz. Now just to get some benchmark numbers out of the way, I'll be using NovaBench, which is a free Mac app you can go ahead and use, which does pretty much the same thing as Geekbench, but does it a lot faster, and tests everything more thoroughly, and gives a lot simpler number. So over to the right, we have the 15-inch MacBook Pro, which scored 1,008. And over to the left, we have the 13-inch MacBook Pro, which scored 381. Now up next, we have the classic application stress test, where basically you just open a whole bunch of applications at once and see which one can complete all of the application opening faster. Now over to the left, again, we have the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Over to the right, we have the 15-inch. And remember that the 15-inch is a 5400 RPM hard drive, whereas the 13-inch has a 128 GB solid-state drive. So it's going to be kind of obvious that the solid-state drive is going to win, but let's go ahead and let's see what happens. So it's looking like the 13-inch MacBook Pro won. The 15-inch still had GarageBand loading up while everything else was loaded up on the 13-inch. That was kind of to be expected since it did use a solid-state drive. Now last but certainly not least, we have the classic restart test. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is simply just restarting the computer and see which one can boot up faster. And as of right now, the 15-inch MacBook Pro is winning. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens. So it was kind of obvious that the 13-inch MacBook Pro would have won, but if we stick a solid-state drive into that 15-inch MacBook Pro, I'm pretty sure it would have creamed it in every single thing. So guys, if you like this video and want to go ahead and subscribe, that would be awesome. If you do subscribe, you'll be able to stay tuned with all of my new MacBook Pro videos that I'm going to be posting. There's going to be a whole bunch more tests. There's going to be a review, a bunch of videos to go ahead and go with that. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome too. Anyway, guys, I'll check you later in the next video. All right, guys, see you later.